You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and check it out. It is a bin day with Lucky Penny Shop. I'm here making videos, so don't worry. Just uh, trying to clean up some things around the shop, and I saw this bin and said, hmm, what's inside? Kind of a sneak peek from the side, but let me open the top so you can see. Now, I left some price stickers on things so you can see what they originally cost, and then some are just in the bin like this. I will uh, move it off to the side now, and let's check out what's inside this bin. It is jam-packed. All right, so here we go. Let me start off with this. This was goofy, actually, the first thing that I had picked up. These are like a soft vinyl material vinyl rubber that is let's see uh, made in china no oh someone's talking to me let's play and sing later i think that's the guitar there's minnie mouse mickey mouse and donald duck all right so there's those four now sometimes when i see disney like this i will pick it up so i don't think they're anything special i have another set that's truly vintage but it's still nice to have other Disney items. All right, let's see what we have. Ooh, a game. I remember buying this game. Uh, it was at a garage sale. It was actually with those golden cards, which I showed in another video. Some of they got split up. It's called Echolo. Remember Echolo? I've never actually played the game. Even the instructions are shaped like a triangle. Okay, interesting. Looks like you're taking these little triangles and matching the colors is what it looks like. That might be a fun game. I will see. Let me set that off to the side. I'm not here to kind of uh, do a demo on each item, but kind of show you the different items. This was on the top. Oh, what's this one? It's a Fisher Price. It's got a lion on the front. Hmm, let's see. On. Ooh. So the keys have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then there's uh, his head, nothing's pressed there, you think his ears would press, and then there's a yellow, ooh, it plays a song. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, so. Ooh, so there's more songs. that one okay any more are there any more let's see sorry ripping off a label while that's playing I have this, Wedding Dash. Don't know anything about it. It was a Nintendo DS game. That looks like the cartridges in there and the instructions. That's always nice. Looks very clean. That's not something I would probably keep. Wow, there's a lot on here. Oh, look at this. A new grabby hand. I don't think I have this one. I saw this one and said, I think I want the grabby hand. Let me look at my grabby hands, hold on. No, off the bat, I don't see I have this one. Will it hold much? Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Now that's a nice hand to have in my collection of grabby hands. Does it say who this is from? So if you like it, it's something you might be able to pick up. I don't see a name on it. Okay. Well, let's see it anymore. It holds it pretty good. All right, so that's a nice addition while that's playing. And then here is another. I'm just taking off the tape. There's tape on the back. Nancy Drew, The Mystery of the Clue Bender Society. Let's see. Okay, this is also a Nintendo DS with the book. Probably not something I would keep. Okay, here. These are pretty neat. Now, a little story behind these, they were 50 cents each. Power Rangers. Right, I think we've played this enough. There's quite a few songs on there. 
Let's see, was there a year on this one? I don't see a year right off the bat. It might be on there, but it's hard to read. All right, 50 cents each. I bought them. Know right away that these are pretty cool. Let's see. Do I have anything? I have nothing on both of them. So I have to put batteries in. Okay, there's a slider on the bottom. It looks like there's more to them. But when I saw them, I said, hmm, these are really cool. Oh, look, his mouth opens. Oh. So when you press the trigger, I thought this would turn on the bottom. It doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. It's a pretty neat gold. Oh, it lights up on the inside. So it worked when I did that. Okay, so this one probably just needs a battery. So as I was walking away near the car, I think the little boy that had them in the garage sale, I said, were these yours? He said, yeah. So I felt like, hmm, ah, I always want, I want you kids to keep your vintage toys, which are well, not totally vintage yet, but you should keep them, store them. And then I said, well, maybe he needs the money for another toy. So he's going to be buying another toy. We will see. I don't know. Pretty neat addition. Okay, this guitar, this is a big one. This is a Barbie guitar. I did notice that it requires cartridges. It shows them right here. Let's see. So Mattel ink and I don't see the year. Let's see, is there a power button, on button? Insert a cartridge. Oh. Insert a cartridge. Okay, I can't do that. Insert a cartridge. Oh, right here. Demo off on. Hi, it's Bobby. Mm. It's fun to strum and sing along with okay. my super cool. Okay, so you're changing different sounds there. Let's see. Jamming. Guitar. Strumming. Got a whammy bar. Echo. A mic volume. So it looks like... Oh yeah, back here. Looks like you can plug things in. It's got some psychedelic songs on there. I want to strum. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Might need a little help there. Hold this down. Okay, there you go. All right, very interesting. Let's turn it off though. It goes in my guitar collection. Probably up to 20 different kids' guitars. Are you gonna turn it off? Let's play and sing. Play high. It's Barbie. No. Let's play and sing. Play. Later. Okay. Simon Swipe. I've never played this one. Ooh, it's on. Let me take that off. Sometimes they have stickers or things on the back. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm, okay. What am I doing wrong? What? Oh, I missed it. Alright, let's see. My guess is that you need to be holding this. Oh, okay, that didn't help. Let's do it again. I think this is just telling you to select a game. What? Hmm, did I hit it by accident? Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Ready to play. Okay, I'm not sure how to play that. Let's turn it off. That looks cool though. Add, it to, add that to my Simon collection. All right, and then here's a keyboard. Three bucks. It's a Yamaha PSS 130. I think I actually have this one. Oh. It looks like it's missing the battery compartment. Now, how did it play with no batteries? Was it just stored up energy in there? All right, so I've shown this one on video already. I just added it to the bin for whatever reason. Okay, some blocks. You've seen me. I've got tons of these. A little beach ball in there with a bear. 
got a couple of these little wings. This one's got a little spring with a ball on the inside. This one's got like a lollipop that spins around when you turn it. Ooh, listen to that. I like that one. Okay, another Super Ball. The Super Ball bin has expanded to a much bigger bin. Okay, that's a Thomas item. Okay, a couple more blocks and I'm gonna make some room here. Okay. Nice little bear in there, or pan it, what is that? I can't tell. And then a truck. Ooh, that one again. Okay. Oh, another Super Bowl. Look at that one. Just matches the other one as far as style, but pink and white. Okay, make some room, come back, and let's check out another batch. Okay, let's see, lots of fun stuff so far. This is a Sesame Street Elmo toy. It looks like it's already in the on position. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. So it's like a triple turning screen in there. I've got one, two, three pictures in it. Let's call Oscar the Grouch. Hmm, I want to call him. It's ringing. Okay, how do we call him? Okay, did we call him? Oh, it's ringing. Let's see if he answers. What's up, Oscar? How you doing? I don't know. Okay, you get it? Pretty cool. All right, a game. I think I've actually shown this one on video. It's Campbell's Crossword Game, Alphabet Dice Game. It looked complete when I saw it. Looks like no one's ever played it or didn't play it much. So that one's good to go. That can go on video anytime. We'll see. Don't really know. This is the VTech. Alphabets, letters, and lights. Have I done this one? I don't know. Ooh. Let's take a look at that screen. It's flashing. Pretty cool. Is there a year, is a year on this? VTech? Yeah, right. They rarely ever put... I've never seen a year out of VTech. But this is an indicator when it's got the coin to take out the battery area. A door. Okay, let's see. Okay, now look at all this here. Learn the letters, learn the sounds. Oh, cool, you move a little birdie down. Letter order, big and small. Find it. Let's try find it. So that doesn't press. That press. Whoops. What, what was that? What? What? Repeat. Wait, repeat. What is that? I have no idea. I'm feeling rusty. Can you find the letter that says What is that? C? C says huh. All right. Help you? Well, this is for infants and I'm struggling. Hmm. Okay. Can you find the yo-yo? The yo-yo, okay. Yo-yo. Ooh, oh, I redeemed myself a little. Looks like you can press the apples, but you can't. Follow me, mystery letter, juke box. Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, it's got a little rhythm machine in there, too. Does that remind you of a vintage uh, video game? Are you telling me? Oh, no. I thought they were all their own unique songs. I mean, this is really just flashing weird stuff. I don't know that song. Alright, so this is a play school item. Ooh, it's one of those shifting ones where you shift the picture, but it must be a game. Hmm, it looks pretty dingy. And old, I don't know what this is. 1993 or 83. Hard to read, but there's different pictures back here. Oh, there's a lot on that toy. Listen to those songs. 
Boy, I wish I could show you the whole toy. But right now, my gears are winding down. His gears are winding down. Okay, so here's some Thomas track. You know, in one of the recent bins, I've had a lot of Thomas, and there was a little train, Thomas train that was included. And it works. Okay, so that's cool. And then a bigger Thomas. This looks like some kind of bubble machine. It is. It's a Thomas bubble, bubble machine. And another Thomas. This looks like a triple car. Let's see. Do you think it ran on a track? It must have. It looks older. The Thomas color looks worn. It's a Tomy. Uh, no year on this car. And it looks motorized. I don't see where this would turn on, though. Okay, so that's that, and it's very unstable. And then, actually, two more items. I think the last, I'll save that last bag. This one here. You know, I don't think I've shown this leapfrog toy, but it is a cool toy. I've seen it before. Because these all bounce up. Now, how could you not enjoy playing with that? <laughs> Okay, so this is the volume. So that's a little softer. Are you ready for another song? Okay, and this dial looks like it's controlling different things. That was this. Oh, cool. Now, how do you change the. Instrument. Press a key to choose an instrument. Piano tune. Okay, piano. Press a key to choose an instrument. Piano. Okay, so we have two pianos right now. Press a key. <laughs> Silly sound. Ooh, I like that. And they still follow a scale. How interesting. That is really neat. Press a key to choose an instrument. Organ tune. Okay, so it looks like the top's piano. Press a key to choose an instrument. Piano again. Harpsichord. Oh, harpsichord. Oh, thank you. I'm glad they found the harpsichord. That one. That's neat. Okay, one more. Press a key to choose an instrument. Synthesizer. Very nice. Okay, all right. That's a pretty neat toy. I like the way the balls bounce up and down on that one. Pretty fun. And this says all. Or AGL, that's the name of the person. 650. I'll tell you what, let's move everything out of the way and let's see if any of these work or turn on. I'll we'll get some batteries in them and check them out. Okay, so I got screwdrivers, double A's, and triple A's, but I don't know what these take. Now, let me just uh, cut this open here. Now, I don't remember paying 650. It seems kind of high, but I don't know. They're cool toys. What's squeaking? This thing is squeaking. What is this? Pull? Okay. Tag? No. Nothing on it. Okay, a button. Where do the batteries go? How perplexing is that? Maybe there is no batteries. Oh. I get it, and then you press. That is cool. All right, glad I got that. It's the RG7X. Looks almost like a hybrid truck car. And then let's see, a, a motorcycle, check the motorcycle out. This one's pretty old. Yeah, there's a little battery in there. You think it turns on? Broken, oh, it did. Something flashed. Okay, let's see, Phillips. I don't know, it's a weird, weird, weird battery compartment. Weird screw. There we go, sometimes you gotta do the old school flat oh that's gonna be trouble but it kind of looks like batteries from uh whatchamacallits whatchamacallits oh i'm losing it you know what i'm talking about and then this tiny little guy pull back no oh yeah it is but something's going on 
it feels like it wants to do it. There's nothing to press. It's a little police car. Unit 63, protect and serve. All right. These are neat. Oh, and a matching. Oh, this one is one that needs, well, same type of batteries. These are pretty old. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I'll have to figure that one out, that one out. Oh, look at that one, too. Let's see, on off. Nothing. All right, hex bugs, that's what I was thinking. Let me go check out some of those batteries and see if they work in these three. In normal circumstances, I would try to look at the battery, but let's just take some of these. I had bought a ton of these for hex bugs. I have actually branded hex bug batteries. Okay, so I think they were all going this way. Well, maybe not. Let's just see. No, I think they were going the other way. I think the... Oh, on the ground. I gotta find it. Okay, that looks better. Oh, cool. It says nitrous oxide on the side. Too bad it's a broken handle. Okay, so that's pretty neat. So we know that one works, but it's broken and that shot out again. It's spring loaded. Okay. Let's check out this little road rippers. Now I've seen road rippers, I've had road rippers, and I put them on video before. Learned my lesson on these already. Okay, let's I have no batteries at all. One, two. These can be loud, let's see. Oh, cool. I like it. There's the startup. So it's a regular push toy. Got a little fuzz ball in it. Okay, I like that one a lot too. I gotta probably have more than a dozen road rippers. Uh, not this old though. These are the oldest ones I've ever owned. I think. At least that I've kept. I've probably had thousands of cars pass through my hands from different toy things. And I mean thousands. These batteries are rusted. Okay, same way. It's stuck to my pen. My pen. I mean my. Screwdriver, yeah, it's like a pen, huh? Oh, come on, did I put the wrong one? Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. It should still work. There's a switch there, and let's see what that is. Ooh, there we go. It looks like volume or no volume. Oh, look, it lights up in the wheels. So those are lighting up. The blue and the orange, it looks like. Here's the song. Yeah, they're flashing. Let's turn off the light. Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right, lights back on. Okay, I'm gonna say overall, one of the funnest bins I've ever come across. Like I said before, there's probably another 10 just sitting there loaded with stuff. Toys to play with. Toys to play with. And thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Anything that you had as a kid? Anything you remember? Anything you wish you had as a kid? Yeah, how about that? Maybe this cool motorcycle missing piece of a handlebar. And it says Marcycles with a skull and wings. Ooh, what's that? And there you go, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. And right about now, I really could use the support. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.